the Lord is my husband and agenda 21 again and again he disrespect God's greatest creation man again and again The Lord says that his children are to return to the ancient cities and rebuild them and live there. The waters are clear, the soil is good. Every man shall build his own home and live in it. He shall not build for another and another to live in it. He shall not grow his food for another to eat, unless of course that is what he desires. You have plundered and pillaged the earth, raped and murdered at every turn for every single ounce of gold or commodity that you could put in your pocket. And now you ask me to advise you. Shepherds, you have lost your way. You have gone your own ways and forgotten the Lord. For surely every day you say, tomorrow shall be just as today, except I shall have more. And now the Lord says, Every penny that you have is blood money. It cannot be kept in his coffers. The Lord desires that every man on earth be worth more than the golden wedge of Ophir. Therefore I say to your off-seas banks, to your Fed, oil companies, your pharmaceutical companies, your media companies. The game is up, guys. It's all blood money, it's all theft, it's all fraud. All you bankers, I suggest now that you step down, put your head down in shame, and come together and work out how you can redistribute this wealth. Permaculture, guys. The world is a beautiful place and the Lord advises us that we can make it beautiful. It is not difficult, but first you must step out of Babylon. Look around you, you will find that you have been living in almost a dream world. The world around about you is absolutely beautiful. And those that have made desolate the land shall live in that desolate land. I say to you now, return to your ancient lands, return to your ancient cities. It will bring you much joy. You can repair it and live in it securely, well fed and in great peace. That's all I've got to say for the now. I'll speak to you later. Bye bye.